Hello everybody, my name is Verdant, and this will be most likely the first video on this channel. Um, I just banged my desk. Basically, I thought it would be fun to play some Harvest Moon Magical Melodies. This game was in my childhood, and I couldn't really think of any ideas for videos other than playing video games. So, I haven't played this game in forever. I was going to play some Stardew Valley, because I wanted to play a game like this. Oh, let's do this. Can I fit this? It was meant to be flower blood. <laughs> We got a boy orange or a girl orange, I don't know. Ugh. So, okay, we'll have to figure this out next time. <laughs> Off to a great start. Hopefully, if I can figure this out, you'll see episode two. I can't. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Oh my god, I fucking hate my life. Hey, we're here now. Um, couldn't get Harvest Moon to work for that little bit, so now we're playing. Now we're playing Stardew Valley. Uh, this was the original plan. Uh, like way back when I was planning to make something on this variety. I know a lot more about this game because I've been playing it more recently. Um, flower blood. Meant to be. Favorite thing. Chick. Chicken. Nuggy. Nuggy. Okay. Chicken nugs. Okay. Um, let's make Verdant. I'm not a huge fan of the hair selection options in this game. But they will have to do. I don't think this game will be too loud. Yeah, I think this game's fine for its volume. Hopefully, let's pray to God. Um, let's put on this white shirt. I don't think I've ever worn a white shirt and like some black pants. And then I usually go with these, right? Like the glasses. Maybe I should go for something else, like these glasses, maybe? Or maybe just nothing at all. Maybe just go bare bone. Um, we have the Riverland. I wanted, my friend and I were doing a multiplayer on Wilderness, so uh, I thought it would be fun. I'm gonna do the intro just because, like, I've seen this intro, like, four times at least, but I'm gonna do it just in case whoever's watching doesn't got a, doesn't know what's happening. And for you, my very special grandson. You have to click this, or? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay, maybe I do have to click, because it seems to be sealed. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. No, listen, <laughs> I don't know. Now listen closely. There will be a day, there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh, praise. Are you grabbing there, Gramps? When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. What are you doing? You're doing a little, like, pinch emoji? You, you, like, you got us? You're like, hey, and then you do the... Jojo. Join us. Thrive. And then we got the classics. That dude, that random dude, Woody. The person who's been terminated. That dude. And then us. Good old Verdant. Why are the computers, like, the size of the humans? Um, yeah, why are the people, why are we, like, and then this is when, like, I give up life. Life, 
It's better with Joja. I like how that's incorrect. You get this nice cinematic thing. Dear Verdant, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Flower Blood Farm. <laughs> it's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start a new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you all, I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me. Will ya? Uh, is that it? Yeah, cool. Speaking of, like, this, I just had a thought. Because I was reading up recently, the creator of Stardew Valley actually said, that he's going to, or he or she, I don't know, said that they're gonna, they were working on another game that's been put on the back burner that's in the same universe as Stardew Valley. So I wonder if it's like a prequel and maybe you get to play as your grandpa and you have Lewis with you and you guys are like friends and stuff like that. Like, I think that would be kind of cool, uh, personally. But any game that, this, that the person who made this makes, I'll probably play. Because, and they even, they even said that they're going to be updating this game specifically as well, so. Oh, so you may notice something different. I changed the portraits to anime characters because I kind of, sort of like these better. I, I'm not a huge fan. I love the style, but I'm like, I'm not a huge fan of it. And I kind of wanted to change after a while. Uh, so, I put some anime stuff on there. And if you guys really ask me nicely, <laughs> and, and you want to know, I'll, I'll look it up and see who who made them, and I'll put them first link in the description. Hello, you must be Verdant. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm right, the farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. There's a leak I want to pick. Oh, I could could I have picked that up when walking past? Oh my god. I can't pick up anything here. But I can, like, this is Flower Blood Farm. Yikes, it's covered in uh, garbage. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good old soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it clean up in no time. Okay, I think this, I was like, um, did I actually put in the right, like, evil not evil like the different location but i think you have like a you just have a thing down there and here here we are your new home and lewis busts to the door <laughs> oh the new farmer the phone's ringing really no you don't get to call me on it's christmas right now too no one's home on christmas right now so i've I'm luckily alone. Welcome! I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. And it's it's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Yo, Lewis is about to throw him. Mm, stack him. Don't listen to her, Verdant. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, calling her out. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should... Get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Yo, Robin pissed. Look at her giving him the side eye. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in that box over there. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck.
in this game if anybody who's watching this hasn't played it if you love harvest moon like i do and even like it's not even just harvest moon right like it's not just a harvest moon kind of remake copy it's definitely a love letter to that kind of game but it's not even that like it's got combat in it like it's not it's not super like complicated in a lot of the systems like it uses like the farming kind of stuff you do and the combat like it's not super complicated there's not a huge learning curve really you just kind of get items and you farm and stuff so i'm gonna quickly clear out this area a bit and i have some goals i want to set because i know i have some pre like already some knowledge about how to play the game right so, uh, and if you see me doing something wrong, you know, feel free to tell me in the comments. Just don't, you know, be rude about it, I guess. I didn't really count that out, so it's going to be probably uneven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you people who are like me, who get really angry when things are uneven. I was given 15. I could have done, like, three rows of five. I'll just move this out of the way. But this game is uh, kind of like a Harvest Moon, almost like Terraria, kind of um, Starbound type, type game, except better than Starbound. I like Starbound a lot. It has a lot of flaws, though. Uh, I cannot deny it's not the most interesting game of sorts. Okay, that was horrible. I've set this up horribly. But don't worry, I'm coming for I'm going to get some more uh, plants, so... Uh, the first episodes may be a little bit slower than uh, usual, like, than later on. Like, we might get stuff on. I don't really know how I'll be structuring these if I just, like, play for a day in-game. Scoop up this dandelion. Do I have the crafting ability to make a chest? Yes, I do. Um, nothing's gonna be open yet, so I'm gonna just start clearing stuff to get 50 wood here. And the only reason I'm clearing stuff here instead of my actual farm is because I left my farm and I don't want to go back and, like, actually do that it's definitely better to clear stuff in your own farm first uh, but I'm just doing this because it's convenient a little bit okay. let's scoop these things up and I'm gonna just drop the sap for right now because we're gonna be looking for some horseradish as well as well as trying to uh, meet a lot of people. I was planning to buy seeds from Pierre, but I might not be able to do that. The first goal of uh, the game basically is you always wanna meet everyone because then that's really when the game starts. If you don't meet everyone, uh, not like you can't really progress in the game. It is Caroline and Abigail. Yes, they are. Abigail's one of the more interesting people, and I like Caroline a lot. She's quite nice. I have, like, really nothing bad to say about any of the NPCs. Um, personally. Except this one. Marnie's a fucking... I hate her so much. <laughs> She's never at her job. <laughs> I hate her. We were on a multiplayer game with, like, my friends. Two of my friends, right? And we just got a chicken coop, and just Marnie did not want to give us feed for the chickens. We didn't set up a silo, which is, like, kind of a noob move. But, like, my friends were like, ah. Oh. Like, I, I, I was, I'm, I'm not going to say that, like, I'm not going to put it on my friends and be like, oh, yeah, my friends, they're really bad at the game. They do, they are, they just picked up the game really recently. But, um, yeah, we didn't build a silo, which I, it just didn't even cross my mind. It's something you should definitely do before you do anything else you should definitely get a silo because cutting that cutting grass turns it into feed you can get all easy but i people probably already know that yo what's up sam i was gonna play this oh my god things that look so cute i was gonna play this with mods uh but i couldn't really figure out how these like there's some mods i wanted to try which were <laughs> just turning basically the guy single bachelors into um females Jazz should be over here, I feel like. Just basically turning them into females because, hey, Leah, wow, I'm meeting so many people, and I usually don't meet everyone on, like, the first day. But, um, basically, 
just turning all the guys into girls <laughs> into anime girls and i just i just thought it would be interesting because it looked really they looked really pretty like the the design and the arts look really pretty on it and so i was like damn i want to i want to check this out but it was in an older version and i didn't feel like trying to figure it out how to do it so i just was like we'll put anime characters in the game and that will be it if anybody wants to suggest some mods that will work with the current 1.3 uh setup that i have feel free to leave them in the comments but i just be just be aware that like there's some mod like i don't i don't really know if i want to play with mods uh, i feel like this game doesn't really need mods definitely they can help out if you're trying to do some crazy stuff um or just have some fun break the game a little bit like it's, it's all good but like i don't really feel that you need them too too often uh the pr one of the main people that you oh yeah let's go in this house because alex should be out here have i talked to pam yet poor penny living with pam nope pam's not in there sweet i don't know where pam goes other than the bar uh, Evelyn, nice. I remember your name. What's up, wheels? George looks so good in that. I haven't seen all the uh, portraits yet, so a lot of them will be a surprise for me. Linus, Sebastian, Robin. Let's go up to see if we can find like Sebastian, Linus, Robin, etc. Uh, maybe even a horseradish. Ooh, I've been- I've got pretty lucky, man. If you want a guide on where to find everyone, I seem to be speedrunning the game right now. And also, Maru looks so cute in this. I think- I think I might want to wife her. She looks so cute in this. I love it. See, I'm not, like, super attached to Maru regularly. I haven't seen Demetrius. Oh my god. Dude! I gotta look up who- who I got these from, and- Give credit where credit's due, because these portraits are beautiful. I got on the Nexus mod loader, you, or like the mod manager, like, uh, what are you doing? Look at that sly look he's giving me, Linus. What the fuck are you, are you up to, dog? Um, basically, I got him, I just typed in like anime portraits. I had some other portraits that I used, I don't know. I think that... The one for Maru and like all the girl bachelors aren't the same as this one, as the other, as the one I'm using for like everyone else. I think I mixed and matched a little bit, uh, if I remember correctly. Because I remember I had just the bachelor girls be anime characters, but then I was like, oh, it doesn't like make sense, right? Uh, okay, sweet. I can craft a chest, drop that here. Drop those two because I'm gonna need to save those. Um, pier shops would still be open. One of the main goals for I feel like a lot of people should be getting that first backpack. It's only two thousand dollars, which is quite easy in this game, honestly. But one of my goals right now, personally, is I really want to get the. Uh, community center done because i've played a lot i've have a hundred hours in this game right have never completed the community center so i'm gonna pick up a couple cauliflowers because i know my girl maru likes them so we'll plant a bunch there and then i need potatoes and a beanstalk for the community center parsnips as well but i already have parsnips right then you have these are kind of like the easy ones you can get. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be finishing the community center in the first year. Like, not many people, I feel like, do that. Oh my god. <laughs> One off. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. But, definitely, I, I feel a lot more... I feel like this game's a lot more fun with me knowing how to play the game and, like, what I'm doing. Because, like, I have that 100-hour, like... Um, like the hundred hour save I have of my character, but like, I don't even want to play it because like, <laughs> I'm kind of I'm I, like I know what I can do now, and I've kind of like screwed myself. Well, I have to wait like a year to be able to do some of the stuff I know what to do now, 
and then because like I have some like I have like half asked everything because I figured out the thing at the end. Um, let's see who's Pam, Clint, Leah. I still need to find Sebastian, Shane. Um, is anybody? Did I find Emily? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I haven't found Emily yet. I think that's her name. I found Sam already. There's Pam. There's my girl Maru. Sent with Penny. Pam really likes it if you give her beer. Pam doesn't look completely disgusting in this game, or in this portrait. Still not highly my favorite. Look at this girl. She looks cute as hell. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. <laughs> We're currently in there, honey. She's really cute. Uh, Haley, I feel like most guys, Haley was my first wife, uh, which is her sister, that girl's sister. Do I still need to talk to Lewis? Like, is Lewis part of this? No. Okay. Elliot's one of the hardest for me because Elliot just never really comes out. <laughs> Sweet. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I find it very difficult to find Elliot on most occasions. Um, I'm going to keep flipping back here, back and forth. Uh, he's going to be in the bar. He should be in the bar. I need to find Sebastian because I don't know if he'll be in the bar all the time. And... Yeah, so I'm gonna go back up. Sebastian is Maru's adopted brother. So, there's Shane, the raging alcoholic himself. Okay, and I feel like I can catch... Do I want to try and catch Clint? Oh, I'll just show back up later. This game has a lot of stuff you can do in it, honestly. And I'm going to try and actually befriend everyone. Because literally, the other game I played, like, I only befriended, like, a couple people. And, like, never talked to anyone else. Like, I'm like, oh, waifu. Pick pick that person up. you done. I'm like, game over. And then, now. I know Sebastian likes to hang out in the saloon in the game area. There's our boy. Man, I am just, like, on fire with guessing where people show up today. Because I can't meet Willie yet until I get his news, and I can't meet the wizard until I've met everyone. But dude, oh my god, I'm meeting everyone, it's not even 7 o'clock yet! Oh, okay, now it's 7 o'clock. But I've met, like, everybody so far, this has never happened to me before, this is perfect. I hope I'm recording, I've been recording for a while. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um, Clint should be in the saloon, and if he's not there, he will most likely show up. Clint's not in... Okay. I'm gonna kind of, like, walk towards the blacksmith, because that's the only place I know where Clint... Yeah, there you are. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. He He's personally... Like, I love every portrait in this one. This one, personally, probably one of my least favorite, but it's still, like, I love the beard, but I feel like it's just awkward that it's kind of not on there. Like, it's the... Sort of just the angle of his face seems awkward, but I think it still works. I think he's still good. So that's literally everyone in town that you can meet today. Like, that's all the people you can meet today. Like, look at this. Bam. Everybody. Except Willie and the Wizard. And that's all I think I'm going to do today uh, for this video as well. I'm going to check the video see if it's like clean because i have some recording problems but i've erased a lot of viruses off my computer so that could possibly make my performance a little bit better but let's save the game and let's see how much money i made off those three things i've put in the box i think that's a lot of money for a leak a den a daffodil and a dandelion think about that in real life i almost exit the game Either the economy sucks, or those are really high-quality things. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you would be so kind, I will be here next week. Drop by.